in Port Moresby. Muslim communities around the world have come under increasing scrutiny since the terrorist attacks of September 11. Some imams have been criticised for inflammatory speeches promoting jihad and religious hatred. But one mosque in Australia has taken the interfaith message to heart and is seeking to highlight the similarities between Islam and Christianity. The Virgin Mary Mosque is next door to a church. Its congregation includes people from East and West. And it's the only mosque in Australia with a woman on its board, as Sue Lannan reports. In the western suburbs of Melbourne, a unique mosque is led by a unique mufti. Oh, how are you? Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, good to see you. Sheikh Issa Musa, or Jesus Moses, has been blind since childhood. He left war-torn Somalia as a refugee and settled in Australia 14 years ago. Mosques are generally named, by, named after males, so we said, uh, let us also break the tradition and, uh, and give uh, a female name to the mosque. And uh, Virgin Mary was the choice. At first, the name raised eyebrows in the Muslim community. Um, initially, some people were incredulous. They would say, wow, Virgin Mary, this is, this is Catholic, Catholic name. And, uh, and I kept saying, well, um, Mary, Virgin Mary, exactly in that uh, name, it is there in the Quran, in the Quran. Uh, the Quran describes her virgin and Mary's her name. So what's wrong in, uh, in adopting that name? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Sheikh Issa did his religious training in Saudi Arabia, but he gives his sermons in English, and they are like something you may hear at a church. Islam always says, live, live, live in peace and in harmony and, 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 and do always what is, what is good to others. Sheikh Issa is on the National Council of Imams, which elects Australia's most senior Islamic leader. The former Mufti of Australia, Sheikh Taj al-Din al-Halali, was a controversial figure who stepped down a few months ago. We took break from uh, Sheikh Hilal's uh, continuous uh, outbursts and the, and the reaction of the politicians. And so in that sense, the community now is at ease. So may Allah guide us to the right path. And Sheikh Issa says governments do need to be cautious when it comes to terrorism, but should not exaggerate the threat. He says many Muslims in Australia have suffered discrimination in the wake of the attacks on September 11. Muslims are not comfortable to tell the truth. They are not comfortable. They think that they are being targeted um, uh, in relation to employment. They, they, they think they are being marginalized. They don't get the right employment. So um, when people have such uh, a story to tell, uh, they, they feel that, that they are not being supported enough. The mosque is one of the most multicultural in Australia. About 17 nationalities are, are congregated in this mosque, uh, all uh, Asian countries, many African countries, Middle East. Uh, some Aussies are here, yeah. The mosque has rules to prevent a single ethnic group dominating and it says it is the only mosque in Australia with a woman on its committee. They do have a say. They can give part in the decision-making process. They can, you know, portray what they think is going on is not right or not wrong. So it's a good mixture. 
The Virgin Mary Mosque is also challenging the status quo by teaching its members how to use the internet. There are swimming classes for women as well as classes for kids on how to read the Quran. Shekes's idea of diversity and interfaith dialogue seems to be bearing fruit and he is leading the way by breaking down barriers. Yeah, it's not, it's not difficult as such, uh, as I said, except in, uh, when I wanted to, to have some information, read a, a, a book or consult a manual or, on certain questions when I'm researching something. That's the only difficulty that uh, I may face. But apart from that, I love being uh, imam, um, leading the prayer, telling the people what is right about Islam, and it's good, good to do that. Sue Lennon reporting.